Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is my update from my Partners in Cream Project Pan. This project was created by Step Lions and Delin, otherwise known as Outward Processing here on YouTube. I will link their channels down below as always. They created it over two years ago now. <laughs> this is, uh, I think the third year that we're all doing it. I, this is my second year and it's a lot of fun. So basically you just want to project pan your cream items because um, obviously they grow off faster and it just gives an incentive to use them because um, I know we buy a lot of cream items and then they just sit in our drawers and we need to use them. So I have an update. Uh, it's not a hugely exciting one. I don't have any rollouts or anything like that, but I think there is a little bit more usage on some of these items and yeah, we'll just get straight in. Okay, I'll start with the one that I've used the least, which is this Jouer eyeliner. I rolled this in last month. Last month? No. When did I roll this in? I rolled it in March, I think. Yeah, I rolled this in March. Um, I have used this only four times this month, so not a huge amount. You can see I need to actually sharpen it. You can't even see where it is, but you'll see on the piece of paper where I started. It's gone down a teeny tiny little much amount uh, since last update. Gosh, if I can speak, that would be great. So um, I feel like I've slowed down. In March, I used this five times. In April, I used it seven times. In May, yeah, only four times. So in total, I've used it 16 times since March. Not a huge amount, but um, you know, I'm really bad with eyeliner and I feel like that's a decent amount. I just use it in a tight line um, or just put a little bit on my uh, top um, lid and that's about it. It doesn't really work very well in my um, waterline and I don't like putting it underneath. So yeah, there's, you know, there's that. I don't like to use it too much, but it's nice. It's a soft sort of um, creamy brown. It's not black, which is I really like. So that's another reason why I'm able to use it. Okay, next up is a highlighter from ColourPop. This is one of those super shocks. This is the coasting highlighter. I have two of these. Um, but this one, I feel like I've done a pretty decent amount, even though I've only used it six times. Yeah, six times this uh, this last month. So this is what it's looking like now. You can see, I feel like it's definitely changed above here and there's a little bit more like thinning in the middle here. Um, but I really like this color. I think it's really, really nice for this time of year. I think it's really beautiful. Um, it's like a, it, 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 I don't know, it's like a champagne-y color. I think it has a little bit of peach tones in there, but it's mostly like a champagne color. It is actually really beautiful. Um, so I've been really enjoying this, but yeah, this one I need to just carry on working through. It's just taking, my camera just cut off there, so I don't know <laughs> if it was filming. All right, I think we're back. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, yeah, I need to work on it a little bit more to get more use out of it. I do want to finish it. It is getting quite, uh, it's not gone off or anything. It doesn't smell bad, but I'm just worried that the texture is going slightly and it is a very beautiful shade. So I do want to work through it a little bit more. I have another one that I'm working on a different project. This is the shade Manifest That. And this one is taking me ages as well. I just don't know. I just, this was a little bit more icy. Like I like this for the winter. So I need to hurry up and use this a little bit more because I think come summertime, I mean summertime, come September time, I'm going to want to use this less and use this one more. So this is the time for me to use this because I definitely slowed down on that other one. Um, so I, I want to like pick up the pace on this one. So yeah, that one um, I need to do a little bit more on. The next one is my lipstick. So this is a Maybelline. This is in the shade Pink Fling. This again, I feel like it's like more of a wintry shade. I'm not in the mood to wear it all that much. Every time I've been wearing it, I've been wiping it off. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not into like pink, like these mauvey pinks at the moment. Although it still looks pretty, it's still nice. Um, I have used this, how many times? I've used this eight times this month. So not a huge amount there. It's gone down a tiny itty bitty bit since last month. But um, yeah, I, 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 from like where it started, I'm really happy because obviously it has gone down and it takes me a really long time to work on lipsticks. So it's just one of those things. It's probably gonna take me another three months to finish this. Maybe I could push myself and do it in two. 
um you know i know a lot of people can work on lipsticks faster than that but i am just not that girl so hopefully i can try and finish it sooner the next one is my foundation so i rolled in my nyx can't stop Wings not foundation this one i can't tell you where it is i mean i look i think it's down here but there's really no windowing um however when i look inside the product i can i can vaguely see where it is it's definitely not in the middle i want to say it's like here i think it's definitely like there looks like there's windowing right there but where is that i'm just trying to see like where that is yeah, I think I'm right there. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to figure it out because I'm like trying to like, there is quite a lot of uh, product left in the, in the center, like in the middle, um, in the bottom there. What am I saying? And it's kind of hard to get out because the pump doesn't work. And I've been scooping it out with obviously this little um, doodah. I'm just putting it on my face like that. That's how I've been using it. I don't know how I'm going to get everything out. I'm probably going to have to get a spatula and sort of scoop it out. Uh, that way which is annoying but I really like the finish on this it's just the color is so off so this is the perfect time for me to use it just like that um the highlighter from Colourpop I really want to use this this summer and then be done with it I because I'm not going to be able to keep this for another year for next summer so this is my time to finish this um I've only used it 11 times this month, so I need to just keep pushing on, keep using it when I can. I basically use it the outer, um, the outer portion of my face, and then I use something else to ha keep have, have like more like a brighter teasing. So I kind of like that look. So that's how I use it because it is still a shade off. Unless I'm super tan, which I've lost a little bit of my tan now, but unless I'm super tan, then it looks fine. But my face is paler than you know my shoulders so i just don't want it to look too false if i put it all over my face it's just off by like two shades so um that's a shame and then the next one is my ofra primer so this one i rolled in i think it was last month and there is a lot of progress um i've used this 13 times and this is where we're at so last month i was here and now i'm down here this goes down so fast. I'm actually down even further than that. Um, this goes down so fast. This is crazy. Um, this is supposed to be 30 mil. I do not think there's 30 mil in here. Obviously, I cannot, you know, measure it anymore because I've already used product. But I wish, I, I if somebody has one of these and they've never used it, can you just measure if there's actually 30 mil, like dump it out to something else and see if there's 30 mil. I don't believe it because I've used 30 mil primers before and they do not go down this fast. This is crazy. And I don't use a huge amount. I use two little pumps and that's it. And I don't use it every day. I mean, I have, I've only used, yeah, I've used it 13 times in a month. You know, I guess that's what, a couple of weeks, but still I'm going to be done with this in two months, which I'm happy about. But at the same time, I just don't think it's worth anyone's time um this is the cool as a cucumber primer and as i said it smells really bad that's why i'm trying to get through it i just can't stand the smell i think the finish is fine it's a little bit silicone-y but i just cannot stand the smell so that's why i want to get rid of it um and then the last one that i have to talk about is my elf electric mood quad here this is a face palette so last time i had finished the highlighter was it last time? I think it was last time. I've cleaned it up now. And this is what the bronzer is looking like now. So this one has changed. I think feel like it's expanded um, and it's almost reached side pan there. So, and it looks like it's thinning out over here as well. Um, so the bronzer I've used only nine times this month, but that's quite a lot of uh, change in nine months, I think. So um, yeah, maybe I could finish this Maybe it'll be like two more months and this will be done. This one is taking a bit of time. This one I have used five times. This one I haven't used uh, this month at all. So these are two blush. Um, this one's just more of a wintry shade for me. Um, but this one is a beautiful shade, but yeah, only five times. It is a, one of these coral shades. I should have worn it today. It is very, very stunning, but um, I didn't. But anyway, so that one I need to carry on working through. I really don't feel like there's any progress other than the fact that it looks really disgusting because bronzer is getting inside of both of them, which is not very nice. Um, but yeah, 
I think it's, you know, I think it's unlikely that I'm going to hit pan in this, to be honest, this year. I just think it's, it's getting a little bit hard. But I do think that I'll have this finished in a couple of months. So that's exciting. And then I'll just have a blush, like two blushes to work on, which would be less interesting for me because the highlighter obviously was very easy to work through. Then you had the bronzer and then you had the blush. It was more like a face palette. And then once this is gone, it's going to be to blush like cream blush that I'm most likely just going to ignore um but hopefully not because that's why it's in the project so I would like to finish it up but um yeah this one I got last year and it only lasts six months so I better get, keep going um but anyway that is my update for my partners in cream project pan and I think yeah I think I can you know they'll probably it's probably going to be about the same next month in terms of like where everything is, maybe aside from that bronzer. But in two months time, hopefully I can get through the Ofra primer and maybe the lipstick will be down a little bit more. You never know. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe. If you'd like to go check out everyone else is doing partners in cream. So many else, so many other people are doing it. It's great. It's a huge project and uh, just a lot of fun. So um, yeah. Hopefully everyone's doing well. I'll see you in another video. And yeah, thank you. Bye.